Charles' wife, the Duchess of Cornwall Camilla, was subsequently named Queen Consort as the couple began a new chapter in a relationship that has spanned more than 50 years. Having first met in 1970, Charles and Camilla were married 17 years ago at Windsor Guildhall in a low-key ceremony. For most royal fans, the couple's journey will always be intrinsically linked to the story of Charles and his ex-wife Lady Diana Spencer, the Princess of Wales. Over the years, the public and other members of the royal family became more accepting of the match. Here, we detail Charles and Camilla's complicated love story. 1970 Charles and Camilla meet for the first time. A 22-year-old Charles met Camilla Shand, 24, the daughter of a British army officer, at a polo match at Windsor Great Park. In 1992, People magazine reported that, when the pair met for the first time, Camilla said to Charles, My great-grandmother was the mistress of your great-great-grandfather. I feel we have something in common. The couple subsequently began dating. February 1973 Charles goes away to the Caribbean and Camilla gets engaged to someone else. After meeting Camilla, Charles joined the Royal Navy. He was assigned to frigate HMS Minerva in November 1972 and, in February 1973, the ship was posted to the Caribbean, not to return until November that year. While Charles was away, Camilla announced her engagement to Andrew Parker Bowles, then a lieutenant, whom she met in the late 1960s. The Prince of Wales was reportedly heartbroken by the news, which Camilla shared with him herself in a letter. In his book about Camilla, the Duchess, the untold story, royal author Penny Junor wrote. She wrote to Charles herself to tell him. July 1973 Camilla gets married. Andrew and Camilla Parker Bowles together in 1992, PA. The ceremony was attended by the Queen Mother, Princess Margaret and Princess Anne, who Andrew Parker Bowles was rumored to also previously have had a relationship with. July 1980 Charles starts dating Lady Diana Spencer. Charles and Diana initially met in 1977 when Diana was just 16 and Charles was 29, and dating her older sister. Diana and the Prince of Wales grew close a few years later when Diana went to stay with a mutual friend, Philip de Pass, at his family home in Sussex for a weekend. While there, Diana spoke to Charles about the assassination of his great-uncle, Lord Mountbatten, with whom he had been very close. The next minute, he leapt on me, practically, she claimed in the tapes that were released in Diana, in her own words. But then it sort of built up from there, she added of their courtship. 1981 Charles and Diana announced their engagement. Prince Charles and Diana at Carnarvon Castle during an official tour of Wales in October 1981, Charles and Diana announced their engagement on the 24th of February. However, all already didn't seem well between the pair. In Diana, in her own words, the Princess of Wales recalled a joint interview the couple gave the same day. We had this ghastly interview the day we announced our engagement, she said. And this ridiculous, reporter, said, are you in love? I thought, what a thick question. So I said, yes, of course, we are, and Charles turned round and said, whatever love means. And that threw me completely. I thought, what a strange answer. 1981 Charles buys a bracelet for Camilla. Weeks before his July wedding to Diana, Charles bought a bracelet for Camilla, which was engraved with the letters G and F. This stood for Gladys and Fred, the couple's nicknames for one another, which were inspired by BBC radio program The Goon Show. Diana discovered the bracelet, she later told her biographer Andrew Morton. She said, I was still too immature to understand all the messages coming my way. And then someone in his office told me that my husband has had a bracelet made for her. I walked into this mont's office one day and I said, ooh, what's in that parcel? And he said, oh, you should nt look at that. So I opened it and there was the bracelet. I was devastated, and I said, well, he's going to give it to her tonight. You know, why can't you be honest with me? But no, absolutely cut me dead. It was as if had made his decision, and if it wasn't going to work, it wasn't going to work. 1986 Charles and Camilla's Affair Begin American journalist and historian Sally Bedell Smith's biography of Charles, Prince Charles, The Passions and Paradoxes, states that his affair with his ex-girlfriend Camilla began in 1986. In 2017, Camilla spoke about having been initially reviled by the press and the effect it had on her. She told you magazine, it was horror. It was a deeply unpleasant time and I wouldn't want to put my worst enemy through it. I couldn't have survived it without my family. 1989 Diana confronts Camilla. In 2004, an audio tape Diana made for her biographer Andrew Morton was broadcast for the first time on NBC for the first time. On the tape, Diana recounted an incident at a party in 1989 when she confronted Camilla, interrupting a chat between Camilla, Charles and another man. 
I said, I know what's going on between you and Charles and first just want you to know that, Diana is heard saying in the recording. I said to the two men, okay, boys, I am just going to have a quick word with Camilla and he'll be up in a minute, she said. And they shot upstairs like chickens with no heads and I could feel, upstairs, all hell breaking loose, what is she going to do? Diana said Camilla's response was very interesting, she recalled, she said to me, you've got everything you ever wanted, you've got all the men in the world fall in love with you and you've got two beautiful children, what more do you want? So I said, I want my husband, and I said, I am sorry I am in the way, and it must be hell for both of you, but I do know what's going on, don't treat me like an idiot. December 1992 Charles and Diana announced separation. On the 9th of December, Prime Minister John Major announced that the Prince and Princess of Wales had separated amicably. 1993 Charles and Camilla's explicit phone call revealed details of a secretly recorded explicit phone call between Charles and Camilla, which took place in 1989, were published by tabloid newspapers. The leaked phone call did not make it into royal drama The Crown as Josh O'Connor, the actor who portrays Charles, point blank refused to do it. When they offered me the role, he told Sirius XM. One of my first questions was, I say questions, I think it was pretty much a statement, we are not doing the phone call. January 1995 Camilla and Andrew announced divorce. Camilla and Andrew Parker Bowles announced that they intended to divorce. However, Charles still refused to confirm divorce proceedings between him and Diana, with a spokesperson telling the New York Times that a previous statement denying that a divorce was in the works was still absolutely the case. The original statement said that there is no truth in reports which state that it has been agreed that a divorce should take place or that there have been discussions about a financial settlement between the parties. November 1995 Princess Diana is interviewed by Martin Bashir.